everybody, hello, a bit later than advertised, hope you all saw my quick message this morning saying that we might be a tad late. Welcome ladies to celebrating your winter Barbie. <laughs> I hate pink. <laughs> you and and so do I. I. <laughs> <laughs> this is the video we should have got somebody else to do. But ironically, although neither of us have, you don't have any pink. I don't items. own one pink item. No, no I don't. No, oh, no, I don't think I've got pink <laughs> either. Uh, it is a colour that looks really, really good on both of yeah. them. Ellie, you look fab. <laughs> Which introduces us to the whole thing about it's not just colours that suit you, but it's also your style, exactly. isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. And your colour personality. Yes. Yeah. Um, and clearly neither of us are pink. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so... Although somebody might say to you, oh, I love you in that colour, you look fab in that colour, always have the courage, ladies, to say, I know it suits me, but I don't feel comfortable in it. Yeah, yeah. Because I think style is not just about colour, yeah. it is about what you feel comfortable and uh, confident in. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, I probably would wear a pink more in the summer. Yeah, if I was going to, it would probably be in the summer. Yeah. I think I probably do have, although nothing is jumping in my head at the moment. <laughs> oh, I've got, yeah, I have got pink. I wear more pink in the summer. <laughs> Having said that, I can look at the camera and I can see this is a really, really nice outfit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> not sure if that would translate into purchase. So, um, yeah, anyway, we've established we both look hate pink. We've established we know we both look good in pink. We've spoken briefly about our style personalities, but that's a huge subject that we're not qualified in. <laughs> what we're going to do is show you how to, um, what are we calling this? Barbie, channel your, your winter bar Barbie. Channel your winter Barbie. So it is actually, joking apart, showing you how to introduce some colour into your winter wardrobe in the month that you need it. And I hate January and February much more than I hate pink. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> we're here in Swaffham. We're not in the Maldives or in the West Indies. We're not going off to the Canary Islands. If we're very lucky, we're going to Deerham for the day. <laughs> Deerham. <laughs> so pink, that, that's a very local joke. Yes, yeah. Um, um, so if you're not lucky enough to be hopping on a plane, a very cost-effective way of cheering yourself up is to introduce bright colours. So, let us talk through, first of all, the trousers. Now, these are the, well, these are the Yarchi trousers. Yoel. Are they the Yarchi uh, Yoel. Yoel trousers. We're both wearing them. We have very, very different body shapes. As you can see. As you can see. I'm in the 10, you're in the... I'm actually in the 14. Okay, so that shows you, ladies, about how you should bin the labels because I think they look fab on both of us. I have actually got a pair of shoes here to show you how good they look with flats. Oh yeah. So you can really, really dress these trousers down. Uh, you know, whether with a big jumper or a t-shirt in the summer, they will look fab. Um, the top, the necklace I'm wearing, I've written the number down because um, I can't remember what it was called. We've done this a bit quickly. It is NL48305. It's got silver in it and it's got rose gold in it. Um, it helps... Uh, me with this uh, shirt because the shirt the V is not quite deep enough for me so this sort of brings the eye down and um, means that I can wear a shirt that I love that doesn't completely work if I show you without it you know, when I take the necklace away you can clearly see that there is something missing this just finishes it off as so often costume jewelry does the thing I love about this shirt is the sleeve it's a bracelet sleeve and it is uh, puffed from the elbow. For me, it's slightly above the elbow because I do have orangutan arms. But if you had normal arms, it would be on the elbow. I'm just going to take the shirt out 
so that uh, you can see um, what it would look like untucked. I was going to wear the jacket, but you've seen me in it before. So uh, Ellie's going to put the jacket on once I get changed. Okay. So you've seen um, you've seen Sarah in these trousers as an inverted triangle, and this is me as a pear shape in the trousers. Because I've got hips, um, yes, I went up a size, and the reason being so that it didn't pull too much on these pockets here, because it is a soft fabric, so my big hips um, did just make everything pull a bit, so I went up a size which is not a problem um, super soft really really comfortable so much movement in them um, I have matched them with the uh, fuchsia long sleeve roll neck um, which is 26 pounds again I'm in the wrong size because um, we've done this rather quickly didn't realize I didn't have my size um, on the shop floor so as you can see I got a little bit of pulling on my boobs there but it does not matter um, just for this video I obviously would just go up a size uh, to give myself a little bit more room there now I wanted to do this as a um, quite a smart outfit. Clearly, these trousers and the jacket are on sale separately, but um, worn together like this, what a statement. I love it, especially with one of these really fabulous bright colours underneath even if for me in my wardrobe it perhaps wouldn't be pink so um the jacket is the um base level blazer 90 pounds i've written down i just want yeah. to double check oh it is 90 pounds can read my handwriting there so this is the size 12 so again just to to tell you from exactly the same brand um it's even the same material my trousers i'm a 14 and the jacket i am a 12 so just furthermore to ignore what it says in them what fits you fits you we are all different body shapes and it doesn't matter um i've just added a little bit of something here now i don't have to worry too much um about necklaces if i'm honest because i haven't got very big boobs so i don't need to worry about people looking at this part of me because they don't often do so i <laughs> i'm wearing <laughs> i'm wearing the starfish necklace um i really like a, a nice little necklace with a roll neck I think it really finishes it off and just brings um, a little a little bit of something um, to the outfit there. Um, I can't remember how much it is, but it quite clearly is the it's the starfish necklace. If you just search that on the website, you will definitely find it. Um, I've also matched it with one of our new handbags. This is the Olivia in magenta. Uh, beautiful handbags. Uh, you guys did snap them up and we have had a new delivery with some beautiful colours on. Um, so this is the magenta. We also have it in a beautiful red, which is a very vibrant, bright red. We also got it in a bronze and a gold. Now the bronze and the gold, they are to die for. The bronze really could match with anything. I could have worn the bronze with this today. Um, really, really beautiful colour. Um, you can see all of the photography on the website, of course, if you just search Olivia or go into new arrival section and they will all be on there. We did actually also, just to make you aware, we did get a couple of other new handbags in some of our um, slightly older styles, um, but nevertheless, you guys love them all. So the Caris, which is the backpack, we now have that in navy and that's on the website it wasn't previously and we also had one of the Alison Tassel handbags that came in in a beautiful cream colour. So um, some new handbags on the website just for you all to have a think about when you're thinking about inserting a pop of colour into your outfits um, on these quite desperate and cold uh, mornings at the moment just to make you smile a little bit. So that is me in two different sizes from exactly the same brand in the same material um, and wearing pink. And I think Sarah is there. <laughs> I think I've got my label somewhere strange, but never mind. So this is me. You haven't seen me in this jacket before. Um, in the pink, I'm going to be wearing the large, which is the correct size for me. In the brown, which I'm wearing later, I'm in the extra large. The pink is a spring colour. So it is £89. It comes with the belt, but actually what I would do if I were to take this home with me is I would remove the belt loops. They're a bit high for me. Um, they're actually uh, still in my rib cage and my nominal waist is down here. 
Um, but I think this is a super piece, actually. We've got it in navy. Um, if I do it up, you can see that it is a great, great spring jacket. And this is a good size for me. Pocket placement is perfect. You're not looking at my boobs all the time. So this is the uh, pop of pink. I've worn it over. Get this untucked a bit. Did this a very quick change because I couldn't find my socks. Um, <laughs> so um, this is the uh, crew neck jumper. I think this is from Signature from Brand Text. I actually have this in Et Crew, and I'm just dropping down so that you can see the ribbing here. Um, the reason we sell so many collar inserts, ladies, is because of this. Um, if I went up a size, it's going to be too big, but you can see my shirt underneath. Um, and if I had a collar insert on, rather than the Tallulah um, frilled collar shirt, you wouldn't be getting that bulk. Um, because this is such a fine knit, if we pop a shirt underneath it, then we can see it through the knit. Now, I just wanted to get that off, excuse, excuse even the black bra, because we're always talking to you about the fact that you can wear two sizes in the Tallulah shirt. I'm going to do it in the um, monochrome as well, because it is a tad bigger than this. This is the 14. It fits me. The, it's, it's slightly pulling here, uh, but the monochrome one that I'm going to wear, it doesn't. I cannot move in it. I'm like a trussed chicken, which is why I always go up a size. So if I was just standing like this all day long, it's fab. You know, it's not uncomfortable, but can you see? I can't really move and lift in it. I just wanted to show you ladies why we're always banging on about wearing two sizes in this. One is to look gorgeous in, the other is to live in. Right, so uh, Shacket I've told you is, um, sorry, I've, I've changed my order here, which is why I'm sounding <laughs> vaguer than usual. Shacket it is uh, 89, uh, the crew neck jumper is 40, it's available on pink and ecru. This is the Tallulah frill. It's £65. These are my stone. Oh no, these are blue black 1913s. Um, I normally wear um, a 10 in these, but I couldn't get them done up. So I'm in a 12. And I'll be back in my next outfit. Okay, so this really is quite a standard outfit for me. Anybody who lives um, near us who pops into the shop will know that really I do live in jeans and a gilet um, and, and a top underneath with my boots on. Um, especially this time of year, this is really something that you're going to see me in, um, but of course perhaps with a different colour underneath. Um, I, can, I can really see that actually it would be very easy for me to add some pink into my wardrobe because... 90% of my wardrobe is blue, so um, I can absolutely see that this is one that um, would be so easy to just buy to fit in. Um, but what I'm in is um, the Stonewash Magic Stretch Jeans, so they're the 32 inch leg, £72, um, just got a nice big um, turn up on the bottom to bring a bit of lightness. Um, I've got my boots on the bottom. Uh, which we have now all sold out of. I am in the Georgina Gilet um, in the blue colour, in navy, um, for £96. This does also come in black. This isn't my one because I completely forgot it, but I do have one in my wardrobe. I'm the size 12, so it is really quite um, true to size, unless, of course, you're, we're, you know, big busted or, or anything like that you may want to think about going up just so that you can get the zip done over there um so and the polo jumper um in rose for 65 pounds so um again i'm not in the right size but actually when i put it on i thought this is going to be a great opportunity for me to show you this um slightly oversized so um for me, oversized is fine because I've got big hips, so actually having something slightly bigger here is fine because it brings me a little bit of balance um, to this part. Um, this is um, a size large. I could have done with a medium, um, but this is how I would wear it, slightly oversized. And I think, you know, I think I'd even do that now that I'm looking at it. 
I quite like that. So this is it oversized. The, this V-neck is um, great on me. I've got really broad shoulders, so it works. And it does actually have quite a, um, I mean, it's not massive, but quite a large um, polo collar there as well. So this is the signature polo in rows. I think it's a good size on you. I love it on yeah, you. Quite like it, yeah. Right, so darling, like pink, love this shirt. You know, this this is this outfit I am in my comfort zone. And I think it's because it is predominantly monotone with the pop of colour. And um with my style personality, that is what I can cope with. Donna is so boho, you know, she just mixes and matches and pulls it all together. I have a headache if I do that. So this is me in my comfort zone, adding a pop of colour to my otherwise quite staid wardrobe. So I'm going to start off the bag. It's the Becky Tote um, in navy. It's £50. Great bag for uh, going to work in. It's big enough to shove a laptop in and your lunch and all your bits and bobs. It's also a really smart shopper as well. So if you're going on holiday, um, the Becky bags are fab. Uh, I actually took the Chloe to Germany with me this week. I forgot to photograph it, which is the snakeskin um, version of this bag. And in it, I had my hat, my glass, my scarf, my laptop, my charger, my book, my water and my diary. Uh, so, you know, and it wasn't really that full. So they are perfect, perfect bags for travelling. I think we've got one olive green one left in the sale. Um, and the dark beige and the navy are still full price. Thoroughly recommend these bags, ladies. Um, jeans haven't changed. Uh, the coat again, uh, we're getting very, very short of navy coat again. We have very, very limited stock left, ladies. So, I, you know, I think we're down to one or two in these unless we find some more. Um, these are firm favourites for everybody who works here. Um, my black one hangs on the back of the kitchen door just in case it gets cold and we've forgotten to bring an extra layer in. They are perfect for autumn, for winter and for spring. And the navy, again, just helps you move out of black, especially when it, and I must admit, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous fuchsia shirt. Um, I think... Having said how much I hate pink, if we had my size, I think this probably would be coming back with me because I think I would probably wear this a lot with white jeans um, in the summer. But we don't have my size. We've only got the large and I'm pulling. So ladies, I'm what is known as an inverted triangle. At the bottom, I'm a 10 to 12. My whole body is a 10 to 12. My boobs are a 14 to 16 inverted triangle i go like that this gorgeous jersey blouse is uh, 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 49 pounds we also have it in black stone is in the sale and we have it in a really nice uh blue as well the cobalt blue the coat again is 66 the jeans are 72 no these are 75 here comes ellie <laughs> Okay, so actually this pink, I think because it's slightly more of a corally pink, um, I quite like this. I do, I do like this colour. This is something that I could probably work with in the summer. Um, so I'm still in my Magic Stretch jeans um, in the stone wash, and I'm still in my boots. I have swapped into the um, Star Tallulah, uh, which is one of our new designs um, on our beautiful Tallulah shirts. Um, dropping at the same time was the monochrome that you've already seen me in, so I really wanted to try this one. And the little star pattern on it is, um, is navy, so it's working great with this outfit. Really, really beautiful. Um, the top that I have on top is um, the one size pink jumper and actually I think it might but no I think it might be called coral or something like that online um and it's 39 pounds now um I just wanted to show you the collar insert with the same design uh, for those ladies who perhaps um don't like to feel a shirt under their jumpers or perhaps get a little bit warm um, and you just prefer to have the little collar underneath 
um, then we do also have this option available for you, £32.50. Um, but I just wanted to try it out with the actual shirt. Um, so all I've done is I have rolled up the sleeves of the jumper um, and turned back the sleeves of the shirt. Um, so it looks like they are completely part of the same outfit. As you can see, it's quite a wide neck here. Um, and I, what I've done is just I've unbuttoned the top button um, so that I don't look too stiff like that so um this one size is fabulous i'm a size 12 on top just for reference and 14 on my hips and let me pull it out um and just show you how big this is look at that so nice dressed down doesn't it? That does yeah. actually, doesn't it? So, um, so this is, uh, like I say, it's one size and I'm a size 12. So I'm going to say that if you like to wear things oversized, then we could go from probably about a size eight-ish. Um, and, to, you know, to wear it slightly more fitted, we can probably be going up to a 16 to 18, I would expect. Um, the sleeves are actually quite a bit longer, but I have turned them back to do this. So let me just show you how long that sleeve is as well. So these really are a great size and for £39, um, you know, they're really, really great. These did come, um, we had these in a stripey version as well, which you guys went absolutely mad for. Um, they sold out um, quite quickly. We had to get some more stock in, didn't we, actually, of yes, those? we've got some more in your clothes. Can we see the shirt when you're at it? Oh, yeah, no, I don't mind, absolutely. So let me just untuck myself properly so that you can see the Tallulah. Now, the Tallulah, I am a size um, 14 in because I am a size 12 on top. And as you're aware, you go up a size in our fitted Tallulah, if you want to move. Um, so this, if I do up all of my buttons, there we go. This is the Tallulah and me. So as you can see, it gives a really beautiful shape. I feel like, um, although I've got really big hips, it's bringing me in so much on my waist. It's still giving me a really, really nice um, figure. Um, as with everything, I, I do just like to do this and push them back a couple times slightly, but it is super comfy. Now this is definitely the size that I would buy just because of my lifestyle. Um, I need to move, um, you know, need to lift boxes at work and need to pick up my toddler. So um, this is the oh, size. Great. I love it. Absolutely love the Tallulahs. Right, so there we go. Let I love, love that pink one. <laughs> right, so this is all about having a winter wardrobe. And then can you just see how that pop of pink has really lifted everything that I am wearing? So I'm going to start from the outside in. I am wearing the uh, Bogota Baralocci. I have this jacket. This is the 16 and actually it's a tad tight. So I have it in the 18. It has just gone in the sale, ladies. I can't repeat on these anymore. So we're popping what we've got left in the sale. Uh, it's reduced from £220 to £169. It's got the gorgeous button detailing in the arm and it is double breasted. Ah, because of my body shape, I have to wear it very oversized. You would have seen Ellie and Christine in it. And uh, with both of them, they're wearing far smaller jackets uh, be because they don't have lots of boobs to accommodate. And it is very fitted on them. So underneath is my pop of pink. I'm just going to hang this jacket on the hanger because I don't want to throw it anywhere. It's a very gorgeous jacket that shouldn't be thrown, should be cared for and loved. Now I'm going to come up close. You can see again... My shirt is wrinkling underneath my fine knit. So if this were real life, um, I would not be wearing a shirt underneath this. I would be wearing one of my collar inserts. I have three, I have the Ivy, I have um, the uh, Kathy, which is the chambray one. The Ivy is the Peter Pan collar. And I have another one, which is the V-neck, that we are sold out of at the moment. But I am hoping that John will be making some more stock for us very soon. In actual fact, it's, it's he, I'm, the, I'm the problem. Um, he's waiting for me to call through the numbers. So this is the pink jumper. I'm wearing pink crew neck, £40. I'm wearing it with the anthracite um, 650s. I've just got back from Germany. 
um, buying for next winter and um, we are able to get these gorgeous jersey trousers next year as well so if you didn't manage to get your size in either the short or the long uh, jersey trousers this winter um, in the colour that you wanted panic not we will be stocking them again next winter so I just want to show you this mono floral monochrome shirt again I'm in the 14 this time no gaping at all um, and it fits beautifully but I just I just don't feel as if I can lead my life in it because here we do so much lifting of boxes we're always sorting stock we really do need wear a lot of our tops slightly oversized um, so that we can move properly and look this isn't too small it's just that personally I feel that I would like to have the larger size having said all that ladies I think this one I might be purchasing just to stand around and looking gorgeous in because just look at that print it is absolutely fabulous and can you see I don't know how to turn my arm that way on Instagram you'll be able to see it and I'm just moving it across to Facebook you've got those gorgeous little centers of the flowers that have a pop of teal and red this is a beautiful shirt one of our limited editions which means that there was limited fabric available so you will have um, I don't know how many pieces we had made up under 50 I think so it is virtually an exclusive shirt for 65 quid. <laughs> <laughs> right ladies now I wanted to try something different that I've not tried before so I would like some really honest opinions in the comments on what you think so I'm doing red and pink I I didn't know I didn't know if it was gonna work but I looked at myself in the mirror and I liked yeah, it lovely. enough I liked it enough to want to show you so please let me know what you think um, I, I mean I feel comfortable and clearly I wanted to go on camera like this so you know um, so what I'm in is the uh, Jessica Graf spot dress um, in red. These are actually in the sale at the moment down to £49. The reason that I thought it would work is, is of course, because it has pink in the dress. Um, but, you know, it's mainly got red and black um, and then a little bit of this light pink. So that's that's why I tried it. Um, and over the top, I've got our, um, our Cotagons in the Fuchsia for £66. Um, these are really fabulous. Um, again, they are one size. They come in lots and lots and lots of different colours. Um, some of the colours do come up slightly bigger and the pink is actually one of them. Um, this is how long the arms are. Of course, I have rolled it up a few times. I would say that um, in this one in particular, it's probably going to fit... I think a 10 might get away with it oversized um, and I mean 20, 22 um, if you want to wear it, you know, slightly closer fitting. Um, really, really comfy and warm. Again, this is something that we, we all really have in our wardrobes because they're great to throw on um, when we're a bit cold, but you can still move fabulously in them. Um, we do also have um, our heavy knit gilets as well, which is which are, of course, as they sound, um, exactly the same as these, but with no arms. Um, which again are fabulous and you know what in in pink although we don't have this in fuchsia in the gilet that would have probably we looked great right. oh we do yeah we do have it's a different case of bright pink i think Yes, it is actually ringing a bell now. It is ringing a bell. Yes, um, that would look great with this as well. But just for these, um, the cold mornings and evenings at the moment, really, we're probably going to want something with a bit of a sleeve on. So um, the Jessica Graf uh, dress is done up with um, elastic and buttons. Um, so it fits my bust completely fine. Um, I'm not entirely sure um, how it would fit with much of a bigger bust um, I am in the size medium just so you're aware it's got elastication on the waistband so it is super comfy but you could certainly pop a belt on um, over the top of this and actually if it was Donna Donna would be belting all the way around the um all the way around the coatigan as well to bring it in for her obviously being more petite but she does still wear the coatiguns um, she just styles them in a different way so that they look 
great on a size eight also. So, um, you know, if you're if you're a smaller size, it doesn't completely rule it out for you. You just have to think about what you're going to do with them um, and how you're going to style them. And if you are one of those ladies, Donna is who you want to look at because she always has some great top tips. So um, there we go. And I think, yeah, we're ready. Yeah, so Donna's back on Monday. No videos uh, for the rest of the week. Um, I'm away buying again till next. Uh, I think I'm back on uh, next uh, back on next Wednesday. Um, so uh, that's when we'll have a bit of a powwow and work out what our next lot of videos will be. But clearly they will be starring Donna as you will have missed her so much. So this is my final outfit for um, celebrating your winter Barbie. Not immediately pink, but if I come up close, you'll see that actually, although it has the over, overall appearance of being orange, there are lots of pinks in this gorgeous boho top. This, ladies, is the first time that I've put it on. I honestly didn't think, A, it would suit me, and B, I would like it. But how wrong can you be? So um, I've got the brown jacket on. Now, because this is a winter colour, and we have very limited sizes left in this, um, I think we've only got um, a couple of double XLs, a couple of extra larges. I think we've only got one small left. No large, no medium. This has just gone in the sale, and again, you need to bear with me because I have done this completely back to front, so I need to find the bit on my bit of paper. It's just been reduced from £89 to £65. So if I whistle this jacket off, pop it over here, you can see this gorgeous boho top, which I really am in love with. Um, it's got the little frill here, uh, let me talk about my necklace first. Have I written down the number? No, I haven't written down the number. It's a beady job. It's really, really pretty. Um, it's got a very pale nude pink in it and then a bit of a glittery bead and then a bronze. Really pretty colour. Um, actually, this is a really good necklace to take you throughout the year because you can wear this in the summer with white. And then as we move into sort of like our early autumn neutrals, when we've all got a tan, this will look fab. And it just looks fab now with this um, with this top. But I am going to whistle it off. Um, I can tell you, ladies, that it is £24.50. So if that gives you a clue... Um, it's a really, really pretty piece. Now, this is the Inara Boho Top. I thought that I would only be able to wear it like this. But, you know, this looks hideous. It's not working at all. So I'm thrilled that I can do it up. And the neck is sufficiently wide enough. There's enough flesh on show, particularly with the little keyhole he thing here. For me not to look ultra booby. In fact, I think it's a very, very flattering cut on me. It is. That looks yeah, lovely. it has, yeah. isn't yeah. it? I'm really surprised by this because <laughs> on paper it shouldn't work. It's a lovely, lovely um, fabric. It's a poly silk. They're 39 quid. It's got the shearing here. You've seen Ellie and lots of other... Um, hourglass and pear-shaped women wearing this. I'm not sure you've seen anybody um, my shape. Now I untuck it to show you uh, the band at the bottom, but now I just look like a sack of spuds in it. <laughs> so what we'll do is we'll tuck it back in to give me the illusion of a waist, elongate my legs, and I'm back in my happy place. Here comes Ellie. I love you in that too. Oh, right, so this was this was one that I thought, oh, actually, I love it. I'd written it down and I thought, I'd, when I try it on, I don't know. We might have to write this one off. But now I'm wondering whether it's because from here down is completely my style. So I am in um, some black Ina 740s, £58, pounds, gone down a size um, to my usual size. I'm in a size 12. And I've got some chunky shoes on the bottom, um, which is what I wear. I love chunky shoes. Um, so I'm wondering 
wondering whether that's why I'm feeling much more comfortable. Um, so I have got the um, fine cotton roll neck on in the size large um, and it is clearly a paler colour so I definitely wanted to be in a size large so as not to show off any rolls. Um, £45 and then you've already seen Sarah in the suede but I'm also in the pink suede £89 and I'm in the size medium. Um, so a bit of double pink going on um, some different tones. I think I'm loving it um, because this is my comfort zone but I do know that this colour looks good on me. So, um, so actually one that I was a little bit scared about putting on, I think this might be my favourite I think. So <laughs> there we go that's mine. So um, do you like pink a bit better? I think maybe I do I actually. I think this has been quite cathartic. It has, it has. Because yeah. I am loving this. That looks great, that looks amazing. That pink jersey shirt, if we had it in my size yeah. still, if we get a return and my name is on okay. it, because okay. I loved it. What yes. were your favourite? Honestly, this outfit is one that I'm loving um, and um, I really did like the, I actually really liked the fuchsia coat again. Yeah? But my mother's just bought it, so we'd have to diary date. have to diary date. But um, I really did like that. The feel of that was great because I could just bang it on top of one of my navy outfits, and I'm there. But so, I loved you in the first one. Did you? Did you? Oh, I think you looked fab. Anyway, for two women who hate pink, I yeah. think we've done very well, <laughs> ladies. And perhaps we don't hate it as much as we we thought we did. Yeah. If Donna had been here, she would have been in her element. Exactly. She loves pink. Yes. So, um, Ellie's home alone from Friday. In fact, she's on her hen do on Saturday. Yes. So, um, we might not be seeing too many. Is it going to be raucous? I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> it better not be. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Ellie might be lying under a table somewhere in Nor Norwich on a Saturday <laughs> afternoon. If you see her, pick her up and rescue her. Please. Um, <laughs> so, Christine is looking after the shop for us. Ellie and um, Donna are back next uh, Monday, so you'll be able to catch up with them. And we will be doing another video very, very soon, but we've got lots of reels that we'll be showing you in the interim. Um, as always, thank you so much for your support, ladies. Uh, we have actually decided that if Donna takes a, <laughs> a month off next year, Kim is definitely coming back, whatever she thinks. Yes. <laughs> because we've missed both of them. Anyway, have a fab week. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.